Hello, Rockwell artist. We've been talking a lot about symmetry and how things can fold in half and be the same on both sides. We are going to be creating butterflies using different shapes, different lines, adding some texture to it. Um, come and follow me and I will go step by step on how you can create an amazing symmetrical butterfly. So for this project, I highly recommend starting with a pencil and using a black marker or Sharpie would be okay for outlining. We will eventually be using some crayons as well to add to our symmetrical butterfly. So I'm gonna go ahead and start using my marker. You should use your pencil. If you're working in your sketchbook, it can be vertical or horizontal. I'm gonna start by folding my paper in half just so that I remember that on both sides, they need to look the same. So when we did another project, we folded it in half and we opened it with two similar sides. Same idea here. So we're gonna start by making a circle. Um, I'm gonna drag, not in the middle, but right here because it's gonna represent its head. Okay, and then we're going to create its abdomen. Looks like a bubble letter I. And then from that, create another body length. It kind of looks like a dragonfly at first. This is gonna be the rest of its body. You can also create just a large oval for its shape as well. Kind of like a large hot dog. We're going to create the top of the wings coming from its body, not its head. And they're gonna go out towards the corner. You might actually wanna put a little dot inside the corner so you know exactly where you are reaching to. Place your marker on the body and connect to both dots. Trying your best to keep the two sides very similar. You're going to create two lines that are going to come out and create the middle of the wings. Again, you can place two dots. Remember, it's symmetrical, so kind of use your eyes to decide where you think the two sides are. You can fold it over and guide yourself. Okay, and then I'm gonna draw from the abdomen, this part, the top oval, out to the sides. Curving it just a tad. The last part is going to be the two lines that we create down here. They are going to come from closer to up by the abdomen. Not down here, a little bit higher. And again, if you would like to make two dots, I'm gonna create them not as far as the first two, maybe in a little bit, like right about here on both sides. And then I'm going to connect them with a kind of curved line trying to match the two sides. Let me give you a minute to catch up. Not mustard, catch up. Just as a review, after you've created this oval or the doubled oval, I placed dots on both corners, check. And then I drew a line and then I did two more dots that were opposite, drew lines to those, and then the same thing below. I try to guess um, if I was, if this is the middle, I was going to try to guess which two sides match. So these are, this is one, they're actually four wings or connected wings, but we're going to connect these two together, kind of in an outward curve, like so. And again on this side, very similar. I'm constantly looking to see if they're symmetrical. Okay, and that can be a little bumpy too. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. And then I'm gonna move in just a touch to create this part of the wing. And this is gonna be a little more rounded. So move in just a little bit. Put your marker down. And I'm gonna create the bottom part of my 
butterfly wings. All right, let's go ahead and uh, add our antennas coming from the head. Um, to make these larger and more cute. Just adding one on both sides because we're working with symmetry. And then maybe just a little thicker on the ends. And you can add a cute little face if you want to. Or you can keep it super realistic. Now here's the decorative part. You may of course um, pause the video if you are a little behind or if you need to go back. What I'm going to do is I'm creating some shapes on this side and then I'm going to copy them like a mirror image on the opposite to make sure it's symmetrical. So I'm going to go ahead and start with a shape that looks kind of like this and you can change this up a little bit or you can choose to follow along exactly how I'm creating this one. Okay. Oh, not perfect. That's okay. I'm going to create some boxes. So if I do it on this side, I'm going to have to create this shape on this side. Um, I'm making a rectangle. Uh, maybe I'll create some more lines going out, kind of filling in that space, kind of like a puzzle piece. Right, kind of looks this one's much wider than this one, but that's okay. I'm trying my best. If I did this in pencil, I could have gotten a chance to erase, and I didn't. So if you're working with pencil and you're able to erase your mistakes, I'm gonna go in and add some circles here, just some random shapes of circles. You can do triangles if you want. But remember, if it's symmetrical, I'm gonna try to do the same thing on this side as best as I can. And with mine being um, kind of different on both sides, so it's going to change a little bit. Can you feel free to pause if you are wanting to go back and erase or add anything new? Add some more petal like shapes here. Come down here. What kind of shapes are you using? Are you making triangles? Are you creating lines? I'm gonna kind of make this filled in a little bit too with some shapes. Some spots. And um, I did tilt my marker a little bit. So that's why the lines are a little bit thicker on the bottom half. I'm going to kind of go in and add um, some texture, some little line hairs here, make his belly kind of fuzzy. Um, if you want to make you know, a cutesy face, you can. Add in some decoration. And then you can go back and add smaller shapes. I'm going to go ahead and fill in some of these spots with just some ovals all the way around. And remember, if I do something on this side, I'm going to want to have to repeat it on this side. Let's see who can make the most symmetrical <laughs> butterfly. Okay, then I'm going to be able to color it in. You can make it a rainbow butterfly. You can make it um, as authentic as you want. Actually, I may go in with my black marker, I think, and make the body a little more black. You can keep it how you had it, but I think I'm going to go in and make the butterfly's body black. Yeah, I like that. And then maybe leave space for his eyes. Um, and then you can go in if you want to add um, black to this area and then really accent the colors. I think I'm going to make my a bunch of oranges and colors. So take the next few minutes, pause the video if you need to. Um, 
color in anything that you need to color in or outline with your black marker. Remember, if you do something on one side, you're going to have to repeat that on the opposite side. So this is orange, this should also be orange. Symmetrical butterfly. I'm going to blend some yellow and orange together to mix it up a little bit. So I'm going to blend this section. It's going to have yellow and orange overlapping. So if you want to blend or overlap, I'm going to add some orange and then go over it with my yellow. And then maybe go back over it with more orange to make the line between the two a little bit more transition. So maybe you found a new species of butterflies. Um, and you're going to create brand new type of butterfly. It's never been seen before. I don't have a darker orange, so I'm going to take red and go in there. Remember how we blend the crayons a little bit? So go in there with the red. And then I'm going to go in there with the orange just to make it a little bit of a darker orange. So my red and my orange create this darker orange. Don't want to add black to orange or black to certain colors to make them darker. They just kind of make them muted. last thing I'm going to do is color in between them black. You can choose to keep it um, um, white if you want to. I'm going to take my marker. I'm going to tilt it on this edge so that it gives me a nice wide brush stroke. Carefully color in. I don't want to get rid of any of my beautiful, beautiful shapes. Take your time. And I know I'm going really fast, um, but that's just for sake of the video. So remember though, if you color this side of it, black, you will have to fill in the other side. That's just an option, how the black really makes the colors you've used pop. All right, continue coloring, see you later. So I hope you used all of your time to complete your gorgeous butterfly, um, again, it should be symmetrical, same on both sides, just like we've been talking about, but you can cut it out, make it into a puppet. Um, an extension project might be to create another one, but this time cut out of paper some pieces and glue them down and make a collage butterfly that's symmetrical as well. All right, I'll see you later, alligators.